it is Monday. It is the 29th of January 2018. I'm feeling good. It's a new week. Things are going my way. Things aren't demonetized. The videos are back. Oh, yeah. Feeling pumped. Great start to the week and lots of stuff happening within game. So let's, without further ado, smash into these stories and let you know and give you the lowdown of what's happening in the community. So what you see now is the L3 for Hulk Ragnarok, and shout out to Otrix for sending this through to me. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. It's like obviously he's doing like a similar thing with like the Hulk kind of smash thing, but it's more of a like gladiatorial type thing where he's grabbing his enemy and smashing them to the ground. So obviously we're going to find out a lot more about this champion when he reaches the game, and I'm pretty pumped for him. But the best thing about it, he digs his axe into his enemy's heads and then just flings them. Granted, there's no blood because we want to keep PG in this game, but still, it's just so much fun to see. 17.0 marks an incredible change with regards to the game. We see the release of six stars. We see the release of new content, especially obviously the Trials of the King. And also, we've got things with regards to the Lunar New Year celebration. It's going to be a very, very busy month when it comes to the game. In particular, the Lunar event is just it's so much fun. Celebrations, obviously, shout out to our Chinese players of the game. Xin Jing Kuai Lia. Hopefully I said that right. Hopefully that's Happy New Year. And I haven't said something inappropriate. But uh, obviously, yes, Happy Happy New Year when it comes to that point in time. And obviously I'll say that when it's more relevant rather than saying it now to be impressive because I decided to Google search. And obviously the professional that I am is still carrying on even though during that last segment the lighting went. So that's... Hey, good luck for a Monday. I don't care though, I'm carrying on. Obviously the next thing is there's a new arena in town and I'm like, well, what's this all about? So this is called the Musperhelm Arena and it's inspired by Marvel Studios Thor Ragnarok. Is it to coincide with a DVD release? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, probably is. But the main thing is that in this new arena, we don't know what we're going to get. Are we going to get some like chance of getting something amazing? Is it going to be similar to the seven day thing with regards to easy access and easy playing? What's going to happen, we don't know, but as soon as we do find out, I'll let you know. And obviously with this update, there's been significant champion changes with regards to Red Hulk and also Luke Cage. The ones for Luke Cage, I'm incredibly happy about. Couldn't, couldn't ask for anything more with regards to improvements, and he is going to hit like a freight train, so can't wait for that. Especially if you have him at 5 star, I'm sure that he's going to hit like a complete tank. But at the same time, obviously, he's not going to be... Uh, kind of competing for major content with the game but it's still nice to see science class getting that boost that they really need with champions red hulk i could take it or leave it either way it's interesting to see how regeneration will work with the character with regards to playing applications so when you're playing with him you're kind of like hey is this kind of working out i've got a bit of regeneration not a substantial amount but enough to make you think okay so this is actually a good improvement he may not be a champion you'll go to, but I do kind of like tip him to be a champion that may get more use in questing formats. The same thing with Luke Cage with regards to playing, and people may opt to use those two characters a lot more than they have been before. Now, there are a lot of substantial bug fixes, not a lot of the ones that I probably would have liked to have seen. There are kind of like questionable ones. There was There's one in particular here, made an improvement to an issue where champions would dash instead of performing a block on the iPhone 10. This is something that I do think is on a few other formats. I have experienced it on the iPhone 7 Plus. At the same time, I think a lot of players have experienced that in general, especially yesterday was, was quite bad for it. It did seem to kind of uh, stop at po a point and it hasn't happened quite so much today, but I haven't been doing any content that wasn't arena. So therefore the time with regards to like fighting, it's over in a cinch. So hopefully it's a case that with this, we get a further announcement with regards to like when everyone else is going to, you know, find it, it's going to be absolutely normal for playing and we're not going to see that annoying dash back all of a sudden. There's another bug I really want to mention and that is at the bottom, fixed an issue where Daredevil would evade the second hit in Iceman's special 2 attack after being struck by the first. This was something we did cover in MCC News, uh, I think it was that or was another video where we were kind of discussing should he be able to do that based on what Cold Snap does with regards to an application and the whole champion in general. So it's kind of interesting because I think we discussed that several months ago for this to be something that they wanted or should have addressed or the whole community would say no don't address it. Either way, it's it's kind of odd to kind of think, well, who would put Daredevil up against Iceman unless they were forced to an arena? Otherwise, um, yeah, I mean, it's good to see them having that kind of fine air of detail to kind of air it out. But at the same time, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of odd that it's taken a few months to get it addressed. 
And our final story, and just to kind of continue on before, it's a case that more lighting goes on me, because then another light has, uh, has gone. Uh, I'm going to continue on. I do not care. I am evidently the professional, because I do not give a damn about whatever could go wrong next. So... We've got the announcement of the Alliance War Seasons. This is similar to a lot of other games uh, where they do this kind of like seasons thing, league things. It doesn't really matter what it kind of like is called. It's the same thing with regards to Alliance participation, clan participation, whatever you want to call it. You're all kind of like competing together as a clan, as a whatever, in some sort of war based system. And then what you're doing is you're trying to get the best prizes possible from the points grind. The system is kind of cool in that when you kind of chart an alliance, that your alliance wars has a certain multiplier. So obviously the more points you get, the more it's kind of multiplied. And it means that some really kind of stiff competition to stay right at the very top. There's so much emphasis with regards to picking up a win in alliance wars because it's going to mean a hell of a lot more points. And obviously points are going to propel you to some amazing prizes. There looks to be a live leaderboard that will be running at the same time. So you can see where your alliance is charting with regards to your performance. This new season of alliance Wars kicks off at mm. this new season concept kicks off on the 7th of February 2018 and concludes in April so there's a lot on offer especially with regards to these amazing prizes we're gonna look at now so these are just the examples of some amazing prizes that you're gonna have on offer and I've never seen so much with regards to like being dished out but at the same time it is going to be necessary as the game changes with regards to kind of availability of this stuff it is quite important that we do kind of change up uh, with regards to like what you know certain players can get based on the rating and also with regards to further advancement of certain champions especially when it comes to six stars who are going to need so much tier four class uh, catalyst it's insane and especially if you go down the line you'll find that they're still depending on your alliance and obviously a lot of the smaller alliance will still find that it doesn't matter of rating you're still able to take home some amazing stuff so this is going to be great for everybody in the game and obviously the top alliances are going to look to properly propel themselves through at any cost so there's going to be a lot of fierce rivalry so do obviously uh, be kind of like kind at the same time be respectful for each other there's no need to wind up one another uh, and obviously don't be sore losers and don't be sore winners uh, at the end of the day you know if you take open the gold you're kind of like yeah, yeah I did it I'm pretty chuffed to myself and if you didn't then you need to look at how to step up your game. So look at those two things. Either way, full information on this forum post can be found in the link in the description. So go and take a look. So that's been MCOC, when the lighting fails. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. It's all about getting that information out to you, which is the most important thing. I've been Rich the Man. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button. Make sure to go down to the description. And obviously, the forum link posts are there for you to take a look at. We'll hopefully have some more ideas with regards to that new fighting arena shortly. So I'll let you know about that. But in the meantime, I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling great. It's a brand new week. YouTube aren't on my back. So, hey, let the positive vibes roll. And you have a positive week yourself. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.